Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard. Please enter the gungeon. Um, I'm not going to do the bullet this time. Uh, we are going to play as the Marine, just kind of because I forgot where we were in the player rotation. We need 16 more gun nuts, and what do we have here to play with? Casey and Charming Rounds. Uh, let's take the Charming Rounds. Bullet modifiers are always nice. And head on down. Casey is a baseball bat. It also increases your curse. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a baseball bat that you have to, like, charge up. It's kind of like the home run bat from Smash Bros. Um, where you have to, like, charge it up to get that big hit. Uh, it does, like, knock enemies into other enemies and deal damage that way. And you can one-shot the... Uh, like the Bullet King and the Old King, if you can hit the little Chancellor that fights alongside them, if you can knock that into the boss, uh, then they will get one shot. At least for now, if they update the game after you watch this video, then that's not how it works. Um, I don't know if they've said they were going to fix that in the next big update, which is still not here, Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. It, it's got to be soon, though, right? Uh, last update they gave on the release for it was, like, more than two weeks, less than four months, and that was probably, like, six weeks ago. I don't remember exactly. Um, I think it was probably right around the time I started this video series that they said that. I don't remember exactly when. I think it's like stickied up at the top of the subreddit though, if you want to check that out. It's reddit.com slash r slash enter the gungeon. Uh, can I hit that? Sure can. Got the chandelier kill. What's up? Alright. Ooh. Okay. Cool. That was easy enough. Can dig it. Uh, the shop's blocked off. That's kind of lame. Ah, oh, I thought I was in the clear of that bullet. That's my bad. Um, oh, good lord. What is up with this room? That's... Like, who designed that? That's such a strange amalgamation of walls. Uh brown chest, I don't see myself opening. I don't know why I was trying to shoot the wall there like it could open a, a secret room. Starting weapons definitely don't crack the walls. I don't know why I even gave it a shot. I know this. I've played this game once or twice before. You've seen me. Um, okay. Ooh! I got hit again. That's... Not good. Not good. Okay. Is there health on the floor? There is. There's some HP sitting back there, so it's not, you know, super dire. That's unexpected. Oh, what the fuck? Bunch of grenades right in the middle. That's weird. Um, yeah, I'm a little sketched out by that empty room back there. Cigarettes. Ah. Oh. Uh, we can't afford them yet, so that relieves some temptation. But I think I'm going to pick them up. And I'm going to try to only use them when I have extra health at the end of a floor. But I'm also really bad about just, like, gambling health on uh, future prospects, I guess such as value from cigarettes. Um, yikes. That was a little awkward. Just moving around those enemies. Uh, do I want to go to the Oubliette? I don't know. I'll open the fireplace just because. Um, we know there was a brown chest on this floor. We don't know what the other chest is yet. Brown chest is gone. Broke it, blew it up, whatever you want to call it smash that shit. Other brown chest, it's gonna meet the same fate. I, I think we're going down to the Oubliette, is what I'm getting at. And then the boss fight should be right over here. 
Like, I could open or uh, buy another key, but uh, I don't know. Not feeling it. Okay. Pretty good opening against them. Oh, almost got hit. Still have a couple blanks. Can't forget about that. That was a little weird. Um, kind of dodging towards a bullet. I'm gonna blank that, though. That weirded me out. Okay. I, I try to not dodge roll as much as possible, um, which sounds stupid and bad, but it- ah, uh, yeah, that sucked. Um, it sounds stupid and bad, because it kind of is, but it's also not, and here's why. Uh, when you're dodge rolling, you can't shoot, and if you can't shoot, you aren't putting out damage. So the more you can just avoid bullets by walking around them, the more damage output you'll do. Unfortunately for me, this uh, theory is not working out so well in practice. Because I'm not walking around the bullets, I'm walking into... <laughs> yeah, into the bullets. Um, so first round flawless, not happening. That's alright. Can't get them all the time. And we found a key, though. And we will get a weapon, because we have not picked up a weapon. We got Excalibur. Hmm. Okay. Um, we also didn't get enough money to buy the cigarettes. So that's kind of awkward. Um... Because they were 35? Yeah, they were 35. We only have 30. So let's get the key, I guess. And we will go to the Oubliette. And we've got, we even have two keys as backup for once we get down there. So we can open a couple of chests once we're down to the next floor. But maybe we won't want to, who knows. Eh, I don't. I mean, we could end up with another two brown chests. Seen that before. Would I open them? Maybe? I don't know. I opened a couple brown chests on the last run. They didn't really do a whole lot for me. Um, actually, I might want to save that for the boss fight. Thinking about it now. Uh, I don't like that he intentionally tried to break that explosive barrel. That was kind of not fair. Cheating ass bulletkin. You punk jerk. You need to die, dude. Get poisoned and die. Okay. Cool. Easy enough. Oh shit. Okay, so... This is fine. Uh, I really wish I had something to talk about, but... I just don't. Um... I don't know, what did I do today? Uh... My wife and I watched Ghostbusters, and I love it. She had never seen it before, somehow. Uh, it's, it just kind of slipped through the cracks when she was growing up. Like, there's a lot of movies that did for her, and it's fine. Um, I just try to show her as soon as the chance arises, and they added Ghostbusters on Netflix. She found it and was like, hey, let's watch this. I'm like, hell yeah, let's watch it. I love Ghostbusters. She said, they even have Ghostbusters too, and I said, okay, let's watch Ghostbusters. <laughs> Um, so we watched that. She really liked it. I, I love that movie. There's so many great lines. Um, I mean, it's like Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis and Bill Murray in their prime. Written by Aykroyd and... Shit, I don't remember if Harold Ramis or Bill Murray wrote it with Dan Aykroyd. Uh, I know it was directed by Ivan Reitman. Don't remember who else wrote it, though. I know Dan Aykroyd had his hand in it. And, uh, I mean, dude's a comedy genius. How could you expect it to be anything other than amazement? And really, for, you know, being made in the mid-80s, the CGI is not the worst. I mean, it's pretty cool what they were able to make happen. Like those dogs? They look... I mean, they look weird, because 
it's obviously CGI, but that's what they could make. <laughs> they, they made something. They made something better I could than I could make. That's for sure. I can't make CGI dogs that possess Sigourney Weaver and Rick Moranis. If you can, good on you. Uh, but then I have to ask you, okay, if you can in 2018, could you in 1986? 85? Whenever Ghostbusters came out? Yeah. Could you then? The answer, probably not. Unless you're like, John Lasseter. <laughs> I mean, he could do it then, sure, but unless you're John Lasseter, which you're probably not, um, but if John Lasseter is watching my videos, that's pretty fucking amazing, and, uh, big fan. You've changed animation, um, basically single-handedly. I mean, not single-handedly, but, you know, played a huge part in it, so very cool. Um, if you're not John Lasseter, though, don't bitch about how they made Ghostbusters. Boom. In your face. I mean, that'd be like complaining about something with... I don't know. I was gonna say something about how Jim Henson was like... You know, the... He's the John Lasseter of puppets. <laughs> that sounds weird. You can't say shit weird shit like that. I don't even know what that means. He's the John Lasseter of puppets. Hey, that's how you do that room. <laughs> and really, Muppets. Um. Ah. Uh, okay, cool. It's, uh. It's really a shame that I don't think the Muppets are even owned by uh, Jim Henson Studio anymore. I'm pretty sure Disney bought them up some number of years ago. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure what Muppet projects are still associated with Henson. Because um, now that I think about it, I want to say that there was that Muppet movie that came out with Jason Siegel some number of years ago. Um, that I, I just don't remember how many numbers of years ago that was. Kind of looking for the cash man. Hmm. I don't know, he might be in that room. Do we have money? We have a little bit of money. Do I want to open that chest? Not really. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, Muppets. Um, sorry, I just got super distracted there. I'm not really sure what Muppet projects are associated with Henson, because I want to say the one with Jason Siegel was? And there was even a sequel to that one called, like, Muppets Most Wanted, I think? came out like a year or two after, so like, I don't even know, 20, uh, 2014, 2015? I'm not really sure. I'm trying to think of when Danielle and I went to go see it, but it was a while ago. We've been together for, like, we've known each other, we've been going to the movies with each other for a decade. Um, only been married two years, so... Just to give you an idea of how long we've been friends, we've, I mean, God, we've known each other since high school. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, but yeah, we've been going to movies with each other forever. So I, you know, saying like, oh, I know who I went to this movie with, in this case does not tell me at all when I went to see this movie. Um, there should be a little cash man somewhere. I would like to go through the floor and look for it, but first stop is going to definitely be this room. Hopefully we find the cash man in here. He is not in here. That's a bummer. That means we got to search. Alright, this is going to be a little boring. Um, but hopefully we can find him pretty quickly. Okay. I hate having to do this. I almost feel like the first floor you have brick of cash, it's not even worth using unless you find it early enough to where like you're gonna find the cash dude before uh, you end up having to backtrack through the whole floor. Um, okay, so we know he's not in any of these rooms. I don't remember seeing him in this room either, but I'll double check. Okay, so not there. 
Let's check up here. Where are you at, little man of cash? Oh god, I'm gonna be so mad if he's in this room. Because I'm skipping that room. Let's go back to the shop. <laughs> and we'll we'll go around it by going this way. And stay on our little search grid. Still not seeing it. That's fine. I will hunt you down, little man of cash. Showing me the secret room. You shall not evade me. He's totally going to evade me on this floor. Oh my god. What the heck. Um, I probably have a better weapon I can use to break this with. Sure enough, I do. What do you know? It's the marine sidearm. So, he might be in this room. There's plenty of spots. Yep, there we go. Cool. Ooh, and what do we have here? Blank for a blank and two free keys, basically. Sweet. Alright. That was... I'm gonna say that was worth looking for. It took a minute, but really, truly worth it. Yeah. Cool. Oh man, we took the dogs to the dog park today. It's just like a little fenced-in area in the middle of our apartment complex. But, swear man, these dogs, they just wanted to run. They're so happy it's getting warmer outside, and we can actually, you know, spend some time outside. Um, without all of us just freezing our asses off. Because, like, I get cold. I hate it when my hands are cold. Um, just in general. I'm a real crybaby about it. I'll admit it. Um, oh, god damn it. Uh, but anyways, like, you know, if there's snow on the ground, our beagle, he hates getting... Like, he's real fussy about his paws anyways. Um, like, real fussy. Damn, I just realized we lost the old crest there. Um... So, like, when it snows and there's ice on the ground or snow on the ground, that snow gets compacted up in his pads and he is pissed. I end up having to carry him home, and he's a big guy. Uh, I mean, like, 50 pounds, but still. Heavy enough where you don't want to have to carry him a couple hundred feet. Um, so, anyways, we took him to the dog park just to let him run around, because it was pretty nice outside. It was a little chilly, a little windy, but we were able to manage. Um... But yeah, they loved it. They loved just finally getting able to, finally being able to just run around. We brought a couple of balls for them to chase. Some neighborhood kids came by and checked out the dogs. They were like, hey, let me pet your dog. Does it bite? I'm like, well, it's got teeth. Anything with teeth can bite. Oh, and the little Pomeranian. She gets real cold too. She, oh, especially in the snow. I feel so bad for her. Because, like, it's just all over her face and her belly, like, you know, you pick her up out of the snow and she's just soaking wet. So I can only imagine she's getting cold in there. And, you know, she can't tell me how she's feeling, how she's doing. The best she can do is cry and jump up at me, so of course I'm going to pick her up. Um, but anyways, yeah, they got, a, they got a chance to just get out and be dogs for a minute. Run around, have some space, smell some other dog's poop and pee. Um, you know, get touched by weird neighborhood kids. Um, anyways, my, my point was, uh, I was telling the, you know, the neighborhood kid, he was like, hey, does your dog bite? I'm like, look, he, he doesn't bite me, but that's because he knows me. I feed him. Oh, we have a brick of cash. I don't even need to look. Um, brown, or blue chest, I'm gonna take the risk. It's a bundle of wands. That's not bad. Um, anyways, my point to this kid was like, look, he, he doesn't bite me. I'm his owner. He knows me. Owner, I don't really like using the word. Um, and I don't want to be like, oh, he's my baby, I'm his papa. But like, oh, you hear me talking about you, buddy? What's up? Uh, anyways, like, he, uh, he's not going to bite me, you know, I'm, he's, he knows me, he sees me every day. I feed him, I play with him, I, you know, yeah, I stick my hand in his mouth and he could bite me, but he doesn't. But the point is, he could. Even though, you know, I'm his friend and take care of him and stuff, he could still bite me. He is a dog. And dogs have teeth. So the point is, like, if you're... Oh, what the hell? Can't even go that way. Oh, yeah, we can. We have a key to the shop. Um, ooh, we got some stuff over here. Yeah, anything with teeth can bite you. So, be smart. <laughs> uh, I'm actually real interested in both of these. I'm gonna take monster blood. Do we have anything really to use? No. Uh, so, okay, I'm here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear out this floor with the M1. 
we're gonna pop the supply uh, the supply drop and then go and pick up potion of gun friendship um, but yeah like you know even though like your neighbor might have a dog and this is I guess this message is mostly going out to younger kids but who well, I don't know if they should be watching my videos anyways because my language is not the most child appropriate but at the same time like you know, I knew the word fuck when I was in fifth grade, so the fuck do I know um, about what is or is not child appropriate. Hey, blue chest and a blue chest. Um, what did we pick up on this floor? Bundle of wands. So I know that that's a passive. I actually kind of want the passive. Hmm. Will we have enough money to get this? 25. Um, yes, we will almost certainly have enough money, so I don't feel too bad about grabbing that key. Because so I'm going to open this chest. And that's jetpack? Shit, that's an active item. That's an active item I don't even really want. That sucks. Um, and then I guess we'll just shoot this chest. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, even if it's a dog you're pretty sure you're familiar with, it can still bite you in the face or some shit if you piss it off or scare it or whatever. Like, there was one time my sister was, uh, dog-sitting her friend's dog, and she was, like, well into her 20s at this point, 24, 25, something like that, when this happened. So, like, just to give you an idea, it can happen to adults. But it's this little bulldog puppy, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And just the little thing, you know, looking at it, you probably don't think it's gonna keep, you know, harm you at all. Probably like, oh look at it, he's got such a floppy face and smushy jowls. Um, but she got too close to him when he was eating and just turned and like bit her in the face. She had to go to the hospital. She had to get stitches on her nose and cheeks and shit because this little dog just turned around and snapped at her face. So I guess my point is when you're dealing with animals, you gotta be smart and be careful use your noggin. Um, okay, so this is a good time to drop the supply crate. We're gonna get some ammo. We're gonna come back here and grab our fancy potion. Then we're gonna teleport to the boss. And if the boss gives us 20 gold, then I guess we will go fight, or we will go check out, uh, what's his name? Winchester's thingy. I shouldn't have used the potion of gun friendship just yet. That was my bad. I should have waited until the gore gun was out of the water. Um, this seems to be going pretty decently, though. Already about halfway done. Hell yeah. It, as you can see, the potion gave us a huge fire increase. Pretty sure it also increases the amount of damage you deal with each shot. So it just really increases your battle effectiveness. Your combat effectiveness, I guess. Um, I don't like the way that it's kind of, like, getting framey on me. Whew, there we go. It's easy enough. Uh, we got Proton Pack, or not Proton Pack, Void Core Assault Rifle. Yes, of course. Um, and I guess we'll take that for Excalibur. Um, unfortunately we did not get enough money to go back and visit Winchester. So we will just be moving along. But yeah, you know, dogs, keep in mind, dogs, not the only thing that can bite you, right? Like, you might, maybe you're outside and you see a bunny, and you're like, oh, look at that cute little bunny, I want to go pet it. Because my friend has a bunny, and it's real friendly. Well, guess what bunnies have? Bunnies have teeth. So if you get close to a bunny and you scare it, it just might turn and bite you. I don't know if that's in their nature, but animals get real weird when you spook them, so you gotta be careful. Raccoons? You don't ever want to get a raccoon scared of you, because they will lose their shit on you. They will come at you with teeth and claws. And rabies. <laughs> no thanks. Uh, possums, you don't really need to worry about. You scare them, like, they're gonna play dead for the most part. Uh, I still wouldn't get too close, though. 
because one, they're fugly as all hell. Um, why would you want to touch one? And two, I still wouldn't want to get bit by one just in case. Like, they eat stuff, right? They have teeth. They can chew and bite. That's my point. You gotta keep in mind, animals can attack. A squirrel could bite you if you get too close. Birds, they can bite you too. You ever been swooped on by a blue jay or some shit? It's messed up. You get too close to their nest and they're just like, ATTACK! I guess my point here is nature safety, guys. Be smart about it. If you go out in nature, don't get mad if nature gets pissed at you. Because you messed its, its environment up. Okay. Uh, jammed guy. Uh, I guess I do have a little bit of curse. Like, why, why am I fighting jammed enemies this early? I shouldn't be fighting them until at least the hollow. But, I mean, that's not really true. Plus, I do have curse from Excalibur. Um, which I am out of ammo for. Uh, thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have been using Excalibur for room clearing. Um, probably the Void Core Assault Rifle would be better suited for that, or the M1. I think I'm going to use the Void Core on the boss, though. So let's do that. And I'm feeling good about the boss. Let's just go ahead and fight it now. Cannon Balrog again. Hopefully we can maybe do a little better against him than last time. So far, not so much. Uh, pretty sure I got hit once by him on the last video. I don't think I got hit more than once. But I think it was once, like, right at the end. Or maybe it was right at the... Oh, no, no, I remember. It was, like, the... It was when we had Full Metal Jacket. And I got... I would have been hit twice right at the beginning. Um, but the blanks activated. Um, so this... Eh, it's charging it up fairly well, I guess. Um, I was gonna say it's charging up our active really slowly. But I guess it's getting there. It's not like this is, you know, super overpowered weaponry. But it's okay. Here we go, it's almost recharged. And unleash! Unleash the little triple blasts. Blop, 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 blop. There we go. So I only got hit once, so I guess it's the same as last time. That's fine. Um... Do I want to pick up that key? I don't think so. No, no, no. There's... There's still the shop to be found. Is the cash man in here? No, he is not. Um, let's... I guess we'll go back to the entrance of the floor. And kind of start clearing out rooms that way. Uh, I think I'll use the rest of my vo void core ammo. And then switch to the bundle of wands. Uh, afterwards. The wands I like using for room clearing, um, I guess mostly just because it can transmute enemies, and that's kind of cool. Turns them into chickens. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky, and yeah, we got lucky. Turned that shambling round into a chicken. Good deal. I like when that happens. Something like a 10% chance on each bullet to transmute. So not great, but just enough. Um, come on. Alright, well we turned the shaman into a chicken. Hey, and there we go. He got chickenified too. Um, M1? Sure. I was kind of switching for the marine sidearm, but that's fine. Uh, let me get that on quick switch. Just so I can take out the real basic guys without needing to use our uh, bundle of wand ammo. Because it is pretty limited. 100 shots. Um. Yikes. Well, 150. I don't want to use it on, on these guys, though. The bundle of wands, that is. There we go. We'll just kill them. And then just have the shaman to take care of. Get wrecked, dude. Oh, here we go. Here's some real threat enemies. Some real chickens. I think you can just walk into the chickens and they explode. They get exploded. Look at the shape of that room. Like, what the fuck? That's so weird. 
who does that? Like, were, when they were making that that room design, were they just, like, tripping that day? It's like, oh man, took a couple hits of some real good acid and made some gungeon rooms. Oh, that is a jammed chicken. Jam chicken. Bad chicken. Ah, oh, crap. I got hit. Um, I guess we'll just go up through this room over to the left. Uh, teleporting chicken? Okay. The chicken that can teleport. Right on. Did not know that was a thing. Um, you don't appear to be a mimic. Also, I don't see Cash Man, and I'll admit I have not been checking the sides of rooms for Cash Man. Hopefully, I have not yet missed him. Because I would feel like a fool. So we got this item, and it's so good, and all you have to do is just pay attention. Uh, I guess I'm just not that good at that one part of it. Here we go, here's, there we go. We know where, where the room is. Um, so we need keys for all of these. Chest teleporter, book of chest anatomy, lament configure them. Uh, I already have an active item. And it's an active item I kind of want to hold on to, so I think I'm going to keep it. Thanks. Uh, I know there's two keys on the floor. Do I want to buy another key? And the answer is, I think so. Um, what was it? Oh, Lamette configure him. I was like, what was the other item he had that I said I didn't want? I know chest, uh, book of chest anatomy. I, I don't care. Um, chest teleporter, it's an active. And I like the potion of gun friendship, really, so I'm gonna hold on to that. What do we got here? Hot lead? Right on. I, I can dig it. I can get behind that. Um, where the hell is my key? You say there is a key here. Where is my key? There it is. There is my key. I just want to have it in case I somehow come across a chest with a fuse, which, now that I think about it, I... I don't think I can. I don't think a chest with a fuse can spawn after you clear a room. Oh god. Saw that coming. Oh! What do you know? Chest with a fuse. What was I just talking about? I thought we had already picked up both item chests. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Look at me predicting what lies about 10 seconds in the future. Not sure how that happened, but cool. Um, was there anything else on this floor we wanted? I don't think so. The only thing we could get from Flint is, like, Book of Chest Anatomy and Lament Configurum. Nope, nope. I'll save the key for future treasure. Alright, down to the hollow. I definitely don't want to be walking around with my sidearm out. Let's bust out the M1 and get some bullets flying. Uh... Yeah, you can eat lead. You can also eat lead, but I guess I missed. Hey, there's that fire ammo going. The hot lead. Ah, my headset kind of got wonky. Went to the side a little bit. Got a little catty wampus. It's a term we don't hear too much outside the Midwest, from what I've been told. Caddy Wampus. Okay. I'm just lining up a clear cross shot across this room. Um, oh, but I got hit by a ricochet bullet, I guess. Sneaky bats. Looking for the shot before we go back and pick up that key. You know the drill by now. If you don't pick up a key, then the shop is guaranteed to have a key. At least for now. Supposedly that's all going to change in Advanced Gungeons and Dragons, but I can only speak to what they have currently put out in front of me. I'm really ready for that update to come on through, too, so I can maybe start uh, pumping out some content. Because I know I've said it before, like, I don't want to record like, a huge backlog of videos and then have them become irrelevant because the update comes out. That's... <laughs> that seems counterproductive to my day. 
and watch the one day I record like a backup video, that's the day it's gonna drop. I already know. Because life is real funny like that sometimes. Um, so we got a locked door. That's interesting. Wonder who could be behind that door. It's definitely an NPC. Um, could be Patches and Mendy, the Fairy and Bottle people. Could be our map making friend. Uh, Lunk. I don't think that's his name. I think his name is the, uh, Lost Map Maker? What the hell is this? What is this room? Okay, I think I found this before. This is like. Cure's Curse? Drink of the Waters, 10 coins. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure that lowers your curse. Which we don't have a lot of, but still, like, why not? For 10? We can afford 10 coins. Or 10 casings, 10 monies. Whatever we're calling it today. Ooh, dodge away. So, wow, that's kind of cool. We got two really rare room spawns. Two videos in a row, because last video we found that, uh, what's it called? The, um, like those witches around a, I, I want to call them like the Macbeth witches, but I don't know what name the game actually has for them. If you know Macbeth, you know why I want to call them the Macbeth witches. You know, that's the bubble bubble toil and trouble. Talking about Isa Salamanders and shit. And like the. I wanna say one of the ingredients in their potion was like the bladder of a Jew or something, which, uh. I remember reading that in class and get to that line and everyone looks back at me, I'm like, what? I'm Jewish, I didn't write this shit. I'm not saying, like, rip out my bladder and put it in a witch's potion. <laughs> like, what does that have to do with me? Dude's been dead. You know, <laughs> dude's been dead way longer than I've been alive. Not to mention, I don't know what the feeling of uh, Semitic relationship was with the Gentile population of England in Shakespeare's time. Uh, I don't know how cool they were with each other. I'll admit, my history is lacking somewhat. In a few cases. I like to think I'm pretty smart. I know a lot of random ass shit. But I think that's mostly just because I read and watch and absorb everything around me. Or try to, as much as I can. Hey, that's the reload stone. Um, shit. That might be better than... Damn, that's definitely going to be better than Potion of Gun Friendship. Because with the reload stone, we can reload the gold gun. <laughs> Yeah, that seems really, really good. Uh, there is a key back here. We have still not seen the shop. Yeah. So where is... Oh my god, there's no teleporter even close to this. Alright, we'll just walk there. That's fine, I guess. Um, I have no idea what I was just talking about a, a minute ago before, before this. I totally got derailed on my train of thought. Um... Um, yeah, what was it? It was right before I was talking about the, uh, right before we got the reload stone. Hmm. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, I was on a little bit of a tear there and just got distracted, got sidebarred. Um, crap. I'm, I'm probably going to spend the rest of this episode trying to remember where I lost my train of thought. Um, also, oh, there's the boss fight. I was like, where the hell's the boss? Why have we not seen him yet? Uh, I definitely, I think I do want to go into the shop. And I'll spend a key to do it. Because you never know. Oh, see, this is why. Um, sixth chamber. That is the one that's coolness for curse. Uh, unfortunately, kind of too late for that, because we just cleared out our curse. Uh, Ross Giant, also pretty cool. Um, for 98, though, we can't afford it. Alright, I guess I'll just buy this key. So maybe that was kind of a waste, but it opened up opportunities. Alright, there's nothing here I can get that's even decently good. No. Like a blank, but meh. 
It's a blank. Uh, have we found the secret room? No. But does that mean I have not passed the uh, Brick of Cash guy? And uh, I could very easily have just walked straight past him, not even noticed. Because, eh, you know, I mess up sometimes. Hey, Devolver. That's neat. Maybe it'll be in the elevator room. I don't think I'm going to go back and search room for room by room for it. Uh, yikes. Actually, not yikes. Genius? I think genius is the word I was looking for here. I'm going to blank, though. Uh, yeah, that was actually a really strong opening. Oh, god damn it, but I still ended up getting hit. Okay, that's fine. Um, what the reload stone does... Oh, here we go, actually. Uh, oh, son of a bitch, I messed that up so poorly. Um, is it absorbs... No, I got it back. Uh, it absorbs the bullets that are around you and turns them into bullets for the gun you're holding. So, like, as you can see, I used the golden gun that whole fight, but I still have 20 shots for it. Yeah. That's because I kept using the reload stone anytime I got empty on the golden gun, and it absorbs all those bullets and reloads them into my gun. Unfortunately, the golden gun was just a little bit short of dealing enough damage to actually get a full uh, recharge of the reload stone. Uh, what do I want to clear out these rooms with? I guess this. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Let's use the devolver and then the M16. So we'll, like, turn shit into the lower forms, I guess. I, I don't know what the better way of saying that is. That sounds really, like, elitist, but I promise that's not my intention. Ooh. Ooh, what is happening? Oh my gosh. I thought I got hit again there. Yikes. Okay. One more grenade. And let's just unload into this bitch. Uh, I don't like being in this position against this enemy. <laughs> I like to be in a spot where he throws his arm at, say, like, this table. And it gets stuck there. And then I'll stand, like, right here. Because all the bullets are going to fly up, up and down from where his hand hits. So if I'm here, his bullets aren't going to hit me. Because they can't, they can't get this way. The alternative to that is if, say, he throws his hand out here, if you can get, you know, say he's, like, right over here by this table, if you can get behind him, his bullets can't hit you either. Keep it in mind. Stay off of that plane, like, right above where his bullets are, right where his arm is, um, above or below it, and you should be safe. If you, I mean, I guess if you've been paying attention, you've probably seen me standing in those spots against that enemy several times. Um, we fight them all the damn time. Hey, here's another one. Oh, damn, and then that little flame dude just jumps up into my face. See, this is what I mean. He can't hit me right there. Does he throw out a... No, no, he's dead. I wasn't sure if he was going to throw out his arm again. Um, also, so much for using the devolver effectively. Um, what do we have here? Got some stuff for sale. Nothing we can really make use out of. Well, the lodestone ammo lit, but we're not going to get the extra blank out of it. Um. Alright, yeah. I guess I'm just going to use whatever ammo we have to kill these guys. Because the gold gun is definitely getting saved for the boss fight. Um. Oh, God. This is rough, y'all. <laughs> taking a lot of really bad hits and we're just at the beginning of this floor this is the forge though right yes it is um you know this might be weird but i'm going for it i feel like this is probably my best chance here um just i don't know i feel like i was kind of playing like crap for those first couple of rooms so uh i feel like i'd be more likely to maybe get hit if I tried to just tough it out and clear out the rest of the floor. Um, okay. So let me wait for... Oh my god. I was gonna say, let me wait for an attack where he shoots out a bunch of bullets. But... 
I'm just gonna get hit. Okay. Unfortunately, I did not refill the gold gun all the way there. That's too bad. I'm gonna blank. Um, and just, I guess, try to recharge the reload stone um, off my M16 here. I did blank, blank again. Because I was definitely gonna get hit by that. I'm just trying to stay alive long enough to kill this dude. Get my gun, or, uh, my item recharge. Nope. There it goes. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to go ahead, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to turn on those notifications so you get a little notification every time I post a video. Uh, if you want to check out my live stream, it's twitch.tv slash bigbadbardmedia. And follow that page so you get a notification whenever I go live there. If you want to get notifications of my live streams and my videos, you can go ahead and follow both of those pages. That's obviously the best way to do it. But you can also follow me on Twitter at bigbadbardmedia. You can check me out there. So go ahead, check out all of those, click those buttons, come on back for the next episode, and I'll see you then.